हेलो टेकीज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज कृष्णा एंड आई एम अ बिग डेटा टेस्टर सो यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर व्हाट आर द यूनिक कमांड्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एनी टेस्ट इंजीनियर हु इज गोइंग टू एंटर द बिग डेटा स्पेस और हु इज गोइंग टू एंटर द ईटीएल डेटा वेयर हाउस स्पेस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ऑल द डिफरेंट यूनिक कमांड्स दैट इज देयर एंड व्हिच इज यूजफुल फॉर यू टू क्रैक एनी इंटरव्यू सो यू डोंट हैव टू गो in depth of unix and learn all the cell scripting and learn so many commands you don't have to do that you just have to crack the interview for crack- cracking the interview you should know some basic commands so in this video i will try to uh, make all the uh, basic commands and you will understand with examples i'm going to take you to the screen i'll make everything very easy so just uh, watch the whole video and make notes Okay, here uh, is the uh, Oracle Virtual Box. So I will just open this Ubuntu system which I have installed. Uh, please let me know if you need how to install Oracle Virtual Machine and how to install uh, any uh, Linux system. So mostly Unix system and Linux system are almost the same. I am demonstrating on uh, a Linux system. So commands will almost be same. Let's try. this is how your command prompt will look like you can go you can click on the windows icon and then you can search bar you can write cmd or you can type terminal and this box will open so something like this will open whenever you are uh, trying to access a unix machine so mostly when you are in a project so what will happen is uh, in the project you will get a unix server where you will be connecting to the server through uh, putty okay you will be connecting to the server through putty but here i am demonstrating uh, on linux system uh, i ubuntu system so you can practice all the unix commands here so all the commands are the same but mostly you will be connecting through putty or any other tool to connect to that unix server so simple command will be suppose uh, i can just write pwd present working directory so if you do this it will show me here home and krgd so this is the correct directory i am working in so if i do ls that is list list all the directories and the files so these are the number of files and directory that is available currently in this current directory here home krgd in this directory we have these all directories these blue are it are the directories these white are the files okay you can do ls minus l <clears throat> so this will list in the descending order in the ascending order of the dates so this if you see these are this is the latest file the, these are the for the uh, user krgd currently i am the krgd user if you can see here so current user is having access to these files and this access is what is written here okay you don't have to go into detail what are these access if you want you can study so basically read r is read w is write and uh, x is execute so read write execute read write execute three times they have written so totally there will be seven times they would have written so d as in directory and hyphen you see here d as in directory and hyphen is the file so these three are the files okay so i'll like try to explain as much as possible and this is with respect to all the testing the testing engineers what is required so you don't have to go into detail how to write shell scripting how to uh, understand the scripts so that is not something which is required in testing so what is required knowing or uh, using basic unix commands is what is required so i'll just teach you what all the basic commands that you required while working or even uh from the perspective of when they are asking for the interview okay so just focus on this video within this maybe within this half an hour to one hour i'll explain all the unix that is required for testing with whatever questions can be asked by the interviewer and you don't have to panic when they are asking about unix system if you don't know just say you don't know and if you know or you know partially then explain them partially Okay, so this is ls hyphen l. 
so do you can do ls minus t so minus t will give you from the dates on which the these files are created uh, latest file to the oldest file so mostly you can do ls minus ltr if you do this you will get the latest file at the bottom so what happens is uh, here i only have uh, very uh, less files so that's why you can see here but when you're working in unix system there will be hundreds and thousands of millions of files so what you can do is ls minus ltr so that by the time you reach here there will be a lot of scrolls and you will see the latest file just on top of where your cursor comes so that way it will be very easy for you to see the latest files because when you are working with unix files you will need to find the latest file which is the latest file and how to use it how to open it all that i will anyway teach in this so you want to create a directory so mkdir make directory make directory let's create one directory as tkk take krishna ka ek and the directory is created so let me clear it just by typing clear clear to clear the whole screen then ls minus ltr so i get tkk is a directory if you see this is in blue color and if i see here it is d you see i don't have all the access okay so to get all the access i can do chmod change mode 777 on tkk okay now the access is changed let's see again ls minus ltr see here see here if you see the access and here if you see now tkk file the user krgd have all the access to this particular directory so whichever directory is highlighted which is written in blue and highlighted in green this color codes will mostly be similar you can read the color codes uh, mostly be white blue green like this color codes you can read these color codes on uh, google and check so mostly they'll not ask <laughs> question with regards to color codes but now if you see after writing change mode 777 i gave all the access to tkk folder to whom which user krgd user to know the current user you what you can do is echo vcho echo is just to display and you can type it in user user should be capital dollar and user see the current user is krgd and if you write time you will get the time red date you'll get the current date you can write the format also you can write date and whatever format you want you can write that format also again uh, coming to the files mostly you will deal with files so i'll just explain about what all different files are there so we learned mkdir make directory let me say tr we created tkk directory and gave triple seven access to this tkk directory so now you want to change the directory currently i am in which directory pwd which directory home krgd now i want to go to tkk so let me do cd change directory to just type the tkk directory now see i am in site tkk okay if i do present working directory home krgd tkk i am in site tkk so inside tkk we didn't create any file so let's do ls minus ltr so totally zero there is no files or directory created so let me create some more directory inside tkk so make directory tkk1 make directory tkk2 okay now let's do let's clear the screen let's do ls minus ltr see there are two directories created let me create a file So to create a empty file, we can just do tech Krishna dot txt. You will write the extension also. If you don't write the extension, uh, Unix will take the file without any extension. So that can also be created. So if I create this, there is empty file created. Let me do ls minus ltr there Krishna dot txt. So if I want to create, let me do touch Krishna one Krishna one. So file is created. So ls minus ltr, see there. Krishna one is a file which is already created. To write something into the file, there is a editor which is called vi. Let me do vi editor Krishna dot txt. So I will open. This is how a vi editor will open. I have to do click on i to insert i 
to insert v ls minus ldr so if you see krishna dot txt there is some data and to vi krishna dot txt hello techies okay let me delete all this i have to go insert hello techies welcome back to the channel this is krishna okay then you press after your complete typing you press escape then you put colon if you see at the bottom here you put colon and w q you want to save it and then quit so w q moment you hit enter you will come to the screen so let's do ls minus ltr you will see krishna.txt the size is 77 kb now so the size is 77 that means earlier it was 30 so i have added some more data so 77 kb so let's do cat cat is to display the contents of the file display the contents of the file cat krishna.txt krishna.txt now see because we have put these lines so lines are also displayed this is krishna hello tech is welcome back to the channel okay i'll do vi krishna.txt open so i want to delete this i'll do control double d control double d 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 if you're not getting what i'm doing so uh, let me go insert go in, click i go to insert and type line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 line 5 line 6 line 7 line 8 line 9 hmm? line 10 Okay, now let me do escape ls minus ltr. If you see the size of Krishna dot txt is one twenty four. Now let me cat. See the contents of the file Krishna dot txt. So you see here, hello techies, welcome back to the channel. This is Krishna line one two three four. Now I want to delete this vi Krishna dot txt. You see this? I come to line one, two, and three. I do uh, control D D. Line one deleted. D D line two deleted. Line three deleted. Line four deleted. So this is how control double D. You enter V I editor and put control double D. Now I'll do escape colon W Q at the bottom. Enter. Come here L S minus L T R. See the size of the file. Earlier it was 124. Now it is 100 because I deleted some lines. If you want to see, let's do cat Krishna dot txt. See line one two three four is deleted. Okay, so mostly you will be dealing with files. Sometimes you will have to create some files, some test files. So that's why what you have to do is you have to learn this vi editor. What is insert? What is update? What is delete? So some of these commands you have to learn. Okay, so don't you don't have to worry. You have to learn a lot of things. So don't have to worry. These are very simple, basic things. You don't have to write code, but you have to learn these commands. Similarly, whatever in Windows system, whatever you do in uh, the command prompt, similar commands, mostly similar commands are there on Unix. If you have any doubts, please comment. I will try to help you. and you don't have to go in details in depth of learning unix commands whatever i'm going to teach in this video that is more than enough to crack any interview okay let's go to the next text so let me add some more lines to let's clear the screen uh, ls minus ltr vi krishna dot txt so open let's put let's go to insert mode If you do colon w, it will escape out of that particular mode. I was in insert mode, colon w. I'm out of that mode. 
now i'll do control double d double d double d okay now i come down go insert mode add some more line line 11 line 12 line 13 okay line 14 let's save this file ls minus ltr it's now 150 bytes let's do cat for krishna dot t xt so here uh, unix is case sensitive so if you give a file name which is in caps so make sure you use caps so line 14 are there so let's clear the scene screen and let's type there is a command called as head head if i type head onto krishna dot txt so it will print first 10 lines how many lines are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it will print first 10 lines of that particular file so why am i writing line 1 2 3 4 because each line is represented as each line is represented as a particular record when you are dealing with uh, flat files that time each line will be a particular record so if you have th thousand lines that means thousand records are coming so there will be millions and billions of uh, record so the file size will be very high so you have to deal with all those files so that's why this head command and uh, i will teach you some more okay so now head we learned so let's do tail on same krishna dot txt so you'll see the bottom 10 lines you'll see the bottom 10 lines of that particular file let's clear the screen ls minus ltr this is head and tail so if you want if you want to see the file page by page you see more krishna dot txt so this you will see page by page but now we have i mean if the whole screen if you have a lot of data the whole screen is getting displayed so in the whole screen you will see the records and then when you put press enter or space bar then the next page will come next set of data that that's how you will keep seeing the data if you do more file name okay let's clear the screen ls minus ltr so mostly you will deal with data that's why i'm focusing more on how you will deal with the files now there is something called as word count so word count if i just write word count so word count you can do count the words by a line each line is considered as one word or you can count each word or you can count each character so let me do first word count for each line for which file krishna dot txt so here if you see there are 17 lines in krishna dot txt now i will do for word count word or same file krishna dot txt see there are 24 words in krishna dot txt now word count for characters if you use putty so what will happen the moment you do the moment highlight this so this when you highlight any word so that is copied you don't have to put ctrl c that is copied the moment you come here wherever the cursor is and click the right mouse button it will directly paste it so you are getting it's a trick so if you double click a file or any name if i double click this this is copied if you double click this this is copied so this is how it works in unix system when you're using putty here this will not work because i am using ubuntu it will not work but in putty the moment you do double click this is copied and the moment you press the right mouse button the data comes here whatever you double click this krishna one will come here now i am typing because i'm not using putty so here krishna.txt by character so there are 151 characters in krishna.txt so this is wc which is word count let me clear this so now already the video has uh, become a little longer so i'll create a part two of this video where i will upload a lot more commands where uh, copy move and other commands which will be very helpful for you so please watch out for uh, if you are liking this video, please comment Unix. So the higher the comments, I will uh, upload the video faster. Video is already recorded. If you type in Unix commands or just type Unix, 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 the more the number of Unix comments come, I will upload the video sooner.
Thank you guys for watching the video. Please watch out for part two where I'm going to uh, discuss in depth of copy, move and lot other commands which will be very useful. The copy and move command where you will be dealing with files and moving and copying the data and how to compare the files. All that you will be learning in part two. So please watch out for part two. And if you want part two, so please comment in the comment box Unix. The video is already recorded. If I get more comments, then I will upload the video very fast. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on linkedin and uh, instagram uh, i am very much active on linkedin and instagram so guys see you in the next video bye bye